All right, lads, welcome back to yet another Stoja Lad Cigar Review. This time we are going with uh, another non-Cuban. This is a um, kind of under the radar blend of a pretty famous brand. It's the Alex, Alec Bradley Black Market, and this is the Punk Vitola. So I'm gonna start by removing this huge, uh, huge secondary band. I believe there's two bands on here. Um, this is by the yeah now quite famous brand Alec Bradley uh, after the Prensado won Cigar of the Year in uh, 2011, I believe. That brand became very, very well known. This is the Black Market blend, which is very heavily marketed. It comes in this like uh, wooden chest, that secondary band. It's a very rustic looking cigar. It's got a Nicaraguan Jalapa um, wrapper. It's got a Ecuadorian Sumatra binder, Honduran fillers, and most interestingly, and probably the reason I bought this because it just kind of made me intrigued, it has Panamanian filler. So filler tobacco from Panama, a country that you rarely ever see. It's definitely the first, uh, I'm pretty sure, the first cigar that I'm gonna have with Panamanian filler or any tobacco whatsoever. So it's quite a, quite a fascinating one. This, it's got decent reviews, I guess. It's, I haven't read too much about it, but it's, it's one of those, it's not it's not very very famous but this punk vitola is also why kind of i bought it because these small cigars i have talked about in these reviews before are quite rare outside of cuba perfect light there this is a um four inch so 100 millimeter by 42 ring gauge so it's a very small cigar that's very common in cuba but not outside so i was just very fascinated by it the wrapper is extremely rustic, very oily, but it's got huge veins. And um, wow, the flavor right off the bat is so earthy, so leathery, so chocolatey. Wow, yeah, fascinating cigar. Wanted to go with something punchier yet again, but it's still pretty cold. There's a cold front in Sweden here in the beginning of April. Um, so this is a perfect choice for today. Mm. Wow, so much leather. Wow, that is an intense leather. I'm gonna get back to you guys. I think I'm gonna do this in two thirds because it's, you know, such a small cigar, depending on how much it shifts, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna get back to you guys, you know, somewhere around the halfway mark, maybe. You know, we'll see how this cigar is developed until then. Uh, but yeah, cheers, guys. All right, so it's been almost exactly half an hour since the first uh, update. And um, as you can tell, the ash is holding on like a champ. It's burning gorgeously, all that stuff. But flavor-wise, this is kind of surprising me. It's blowing me away a little bit. I had very low, ex not low, I had no expectations really because I didn't know too much about this stick. It's, it's not one that I've seen around very much. Uh, so I didn't really know what to think. But the flavor is quite spectacular. I'm, I'm surprised with how extremely clear the flavor is. There is a huge amount of leather initially it's gone down from the first few puffs. I mean, all I could taste was leather in the first few puffs. Now it's more of a coffee and leather, but very leather dominant in the beginning. And then as I'm talking now since that puff, wow, it so dramatically shifts on the palate to where the finish is a fig and very, very strong dark chocolate sweetness. And it's really delicious on the finish. It's so clear, so prominent. And it's a very dramatic change. Like when you take the puff, those first few flavors settle in and then they just completely change. And it's it's rare you have that clear and drastic of a change on the palate of a cigar. It's, it's yeah, it is surprising me a lot. I fear this isn't gonna drop any moment. So the flavor is really very, very good. I've been sipping, although quite sparingly, to not affect the review too much on this um, Imperial Onyx Barcelo, this dark, intense rum, and it's a match made in heaven. It, it is quite an amazing pairing. The sweetness on the rum accentuates the sweetness on the finish of this cigar really well and pairs it beautifully. So I'd really say, I mean, with a coffee or a dark rum, maybe a whiskey, I haven't tried that obviously, but I'd say this is a, a great pairing. So yeah, so far, very, very good. Good burning times, burning slowly and just burning beautifully. So I'm very impressed with this. We'll see how long the ash holds um, and we'll see how the flavor shifts. Obviously the cigar is only halfway done here, so much could happen, but 
I'll get back to you guys in the end, uh, give my final thoughts on this cigar and uh, see you soon. All right, so exactly 50 minutes in, which is quite spectacular burn time for a cigar this small. And um, it's been a very nice stick, I have to say. The main shifts, and they haven't been very, very prominent, but the shifts have mainly been a sort of step down in that more figgy type sweetness. And that's more accentuated into pure dark chocolate and an entrance of a lot more of an earthy sort of flavor in the beginning of the, of the cigar, in the first initial flavor of the puff. Uh, so not huge shifts, but the flavors that have been there have been very good, very clear, very accentuated. And I always really like that in a cigar. It proves a sort of quality blend with quality tobaccos where the flavors aren't very obscured by just like harshness or an overall tobacco. It's very impressive. To, um, to score this, I would give it a straight 90. Uh, for, with the way the first half was going, I was gonna go much higher, but the second half has just kind of stayed the same. If anything, become a, become a little more dull, uh, but a great cigar. I mean, it's it's not it's not very expensive. It's a small sort of non-Cuban. It's, it's, it's a great alternative to have. And I'm glad I tried this finally, because now I found a, a really good non-Cuban Petite Corona to smoke here in the colder months. Uh, it's been medium to full all the way, start to finish, no real difference. Minimal spice. I haven't noticed. I haven't mentioned it because it's it's tiny, but it's it's there, but it's it's almost negligible. But medium to full, slow burn time, really, really, really solid, and um, yeah, just very happy with this perfect burn. Haven't needed to touch it up or anything. Uh, so a solid 90 score for a cigar that's you know kind of under the radar. I'm very happy with this. I'm definitely going to pick up more, especially for the winter. And um, yeah, definitely worth a try, especially a good pairing cigar. I feel like the, the notes are very, they, they get along well with, I think, I would think a lot of different beverages and drinks. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to enjoy the last few minutes of the cigar and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.